Ever wondered how you get a fishing mechanic in RPG Maker MV? I'm going to show you how. Alright guys, Micro Hamster here and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, fishing mechanic in RPG Maker MV because I just had to do this for my game that, uh, that I'm making and uh, I decided to make one kind of from scratch. I kind of want to test myself how I can do it because I just didn't want to grab one off the internet. But doesn't mean I won't share with you how I got it done and I'm pretty sure this is also a way that um, people have done before. First we'll go up to our, our database and we're going to click on that. We're going to want to make some items beforehand. So this is a basic RPG Maker MV, brand new. So I've already created the things I need. So I need a fishing pole, I need a fish, and then I need a big fish. So those are the first things you need to make. So you make a fishing pole, you make a fishing pole, whatever icon, do the basic stuff in here. You don't want a consumable, you want just a key item. You want to follow whatever is on screen right here. So that's what you need. You need a fish. Now this you can change whatever you want. Um, you can make it to where it's a key item, regular item, whatever you want it to have it. Uh, I have this set to uh, to this. But then uh, I've got big fish, costs twice as much, gives you uh, double the health. So that's kind of what that is. So if you got that all set up, I'm going to go to common events. You want to create this thing called fishing. Now this is what I have here, uh, but I'm going to sit here and go through with you guys step by step. So we're going to create a new one, fishing. All right, we're going here. First thing we do is show text. It says, uh, do you want to fish? Nope. All right, basic, okay. That's where that's set. I'm gonna come in here again. We're gonna to wanna to show choices, yes or no. And inside the yes, from there, we're gonna go down to dot conditional branch. We're gonna to wanna to change this or go to item, change item to fishing pole. Then we want to create an else branch. Okay. So basically, what this is going to do is uh, when this is activated, it's going to ask you, you want to fish, yes or no. If you say yes, it's going to check to see if you have a fishing pole. And uh, if you do, you're going to be able to put uh, whatever, you know, the fishing mechanic in there. If not, under no, we're going to go show text. It's going to say, need a fishing pole. Fish. I cannot spell. Okay, put that in there, and uh, to where if you don't have fishing pole, that comes up. So inside the middle, all right, so uh, if party has fishing pole, all right, the first thing we want to do is change variables. We're going to go create a variable called fishing. We've already done that. We're going to go to add random one, two, three. Okay, so when the fishing pole is active, we do have it going to change a number between one and three and then side there did I put else oh, no yes okay, so I put that in the wrong section so inside of else we're going to put need a fishing pole that's my bad not inside the no section so then that's what we have so fishing pole we're going to change a variable okay so we're going to go in here create new and create conditional branch without an else um, Going to go down to ah, variable set fishing is set to and then we're gonna have it set for zero for now. I'm gonna go here. You're gonna copy this and paste it three times. So the first one, we're gonna hit space bar to go in it. Change the constant three. The second one to two, and that one to one. Okay. So basically, when we activate this. If we do have a pole, it's going to give us a number between 1 and 3, and then depending on what number is rolled, you get option 3, 2, or 1. Inside 3, we're going to show text. We're going to say, caught a big fish. All right. And then what we're going to do is so we're going to go in, we're going to go to change items, go to big fish, change it by 1, and there you go. So, if you have a fishing pole, and you go to this event and click it, it's going to give you a number. You get three. It's going to say you caught a big fish. It's going to give you a big fish. So, we're going to do the same thing for the rest of this. So, show text. So, if it's two, it's going to say you caught a fish. Go in there, change items, change over to fish. And then the last one is just going to say... Not even 
nimble. And then nothing happens. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is at the end of each one, we're going to go in, go to control variables, fishing, set to zero. Okay, so copy that and paste it inside of each condition so that at the end of it, you know, it's going to roll you a random number. It's going to say you roll two. It's going to go to here. It's going to say you caught fish, add fish, and then change the variable that we added to zero. So every time you go, it'll always re-roll between one and three. That is the basic setup of, uh, of what you need here. So if we go back up, I go to my fishing. I mean, uh, it's a little bit different, some of the wording in, uh, and whatnot. All right, so we're just gonna hit apply. I don't need to hit apply, I already have it set up. And then uh, we're gonna go down here, we're gonna make an event, and then inside the event, we're gonna create a common event. And you're gonna find fishing, we already have. Set it in, make sure it's set as same as character and action button. Uh, put this only where you want the person to fish at. So we have it all set there and we're ready to go now. Do a quick play test. So, we're in here, I'm gonna go, try to fish. I like the fish, yes I will. I don't have a fishing pole. So, we go to the character, he's gonna give us a fishing pole. I'm gonna go back, fish, yes, not even a nibble. Oh, caught a fish, not even a nibble, not even a nibble. I caught a fish, I caught a fish. Not even a nibble. Come on, let me get that big fish. Not even a nibble. Alright, let's go. Let's see if we have better luck. Got a fish. Got a fish. That's basically how it is. Uh, that's just how you set up the basic fishing. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you guys how to spice it up, add some animation, add a little bit more variety to it where you get a better chance. Uh, in my game, I have it set between 1 and 10, so I can distribute percentage wise what I want. I think it's like 40% nothing. 30% fish, 20% big fish, and like 10% like a special item that you can get uh, if you come in there. So like I said, in the next video, I'll show you guys how to do that. So if you guys like this video, hopefully it was showed you guys how to get the basic setup. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you know, you can always hit the down, you know, the thumbs down. But yeah. I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.